Jacob! We forgot to hang our stockings up. Meat! If there's anything liable to stop Santa from coming down that chimney, it's your sock waiting for him at the other end. Hey, it's not that bad. It's the only one I got. Santa's gotta feel it. If you hang that sock up there, Santa will pass out before he gets to the bottom of the chimney. Oh, come on. Let's hang him up before it's too late. Is that your sock? Really? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got, I got a foot disorder. It got better. This one shouldn't take too long, boys. Not too happy with this house this year. Ho, ho, ho! Nice going, meat! You killed Santa Claus! He was overcome by that sock of yours. Oh, no. We gotta help him. What are we gonna do? Well, I don't know about you, but as far as I'm concerned, Christmas is over! I'm going back to bed. <clears throat> You're going somewhere, all right. But it ain't to bed. <laughs> oh, look, mate. Look at the funny little Christmas elf. <laughs> what? You think I'm funny? Is that what you said? What I'm here to amuse you? Is that what you think? The old boys are cool, thanks to you two. We got a lot of deliveries to make tonight, so you know what that means, don't ya? It means you guys are driving the sleigh. That's the bag of goodies. Pick it up and get it over to the sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! How much stuff can you hold in one bag? under the tree and make some yappy kids happy! Now get down there and I'll toss you the bag. You get down there. Hey, don't argue with me. You don't want to tangle with that uh, nasty elf, do you? <laughs> now get going! <laughs> Unstick ya. Get up, stupid. We got work to do.
Time to go! Great, come on, let's go. I can see our house from here. Hey, uh, Elfie, uh, are we gonna land this thing? No time. We'll have to throw you out and hope we hit the chimney. Are you crazy? We'll die! What about Santa Claus? Rudy, take her down! Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! Santa, you're okay! Sure I am. What happened? These two bozos flew to sleigh and did the chimney thing. Did they? Then they deserve a special gift. <laughs> These are for you, boys. Thanks for saving Christmas. Come on, Santa. We gotta get going. <laughs> Open the gifts. Oh, yeah. A buddy gave us the best ones. <laughs> After all, we did save Christmas. He said that himself, you know. Wow! This is great. Merry Christmas, Nickum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas, mate. Possum City, a burrito of peace and quiet, an egg roll of harmony and contentment, a donut filled with the cream of well-being and happiness. All of this due largely to the efforts of the city's most dedicated saucier of justice. It's gourmet of goodness. Biff Possum, super dynamic possum of tomorrow. We join him and his faithful raccoon sidekick Obadiah as they enjoy a healthy breakfast. Hey, Obi. What's this? <laughs> this is how you can have lunch and dessert at the same time. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, sir. Have you ever tried a chili donut? So tall and handsome, a little skinny maybe, but you always were. Ooh, you cute little snooky wooky furball. <coughs> Good heavens, Pithy Poo Look, it's a burglar. You've got some nerve breaking in here. Take off that mask. Uh, oh, this? No, it's fur, see? I'm, I'm... You fiend! Take that! What? You! Granny, no! It's me, Pith! And the one you're giving the head injuries to is not a burglar, but Obadiah, my trusty sidekick. No! Sorry, Sonny. Uh, I'd like to do another favor to mine. Oh, somebody help me. Hit it, boys. Say, look at that! Bill, 
Pizzapoo, your crime fighting car, isn't it, Pizzapoo? Ooh, let me take her out for a spin. What do you say, Sonny? Well, now, Pearl, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Nonsense! I want to go out and fight some crime. Now, don't you think that you're a bit old for crime fighting, Pearl? Oh, for sure. I'm not the six. Wow, that's 180 in possum years. Darn cute, and I don't feel a day over 21. Now let's get moving. Really, Pearl, I... I... What the hay is this to hickey down here for, huh? Granny, no! Don't touch anything! <laughs> Pearl, whatever you do, don't pull the brake off! So long, Piffy! Crime never sleeps! <laughs> <laughs> We gotta do something. Where's the possum cycle? It's in here. What about the possum copter? We bent the rotor when we flew it into the lake. The boat? It's sunk. Truck, plane, submarine, bicycle, come on! Uh, broken, rounded, and dry docking. Hey, the bikes are still working. Well, let's get them. We gotta stuff Pearl before she gets hurt. Come on, Obi. Pedal like it's the Tour de France. No, oh, say this here is fun. I wonder if this thing can go any faster. Maybe that last donut was a bad idea, sir. Says, Rick, yeah, in perfect training. No. Let's beat it out. Whoa, okay, Ralph. Stop, you filters! Hey, who are you calling a filter? Uh oh, fifth possum. So we should. Hey, it's not Pith possum. It's his grandma. Whoa. Oh, you're right. Um, you better stay out of the way, elderly lady type person. Yeah, this is no place for a senior citizen discount receiving person like you. Elderly lady. Oh, hey. It's not nice to be not nice to your elders. Thanks, old lady. Don't mention it, sonny. Come on, sir. Uh, you can do it. Can't feel my legs. Oh, that was fun. I wonder which one of these is for the radio. Nope, it's not for the radio. Oh, there's the bang. You know, I could deposit that quota I've been saving. So long, suckers. <laughs> Watch it, you wrinkly old prune! Hey, you young hoodlum, that's my quota! Not anymore, Eve! <laughs> Why, you little... I think these are yours, chubby boy. No! So long, knobheads. <laughs> Not so fast, Stinky. Huh? Hey, it's Piff Possum's grandma. Out of the way, Methuselah. Make me! Sheesh, are you ever old? What time you do back to the crib, sweetheart? <laughs> What's your social security number, toots? Eight? <laughs> hey, tell me something. Did a comet really kill off the dinosaurs? <laughs> you asked for it. Don't look back, sir. <laughs> 
Hey, Granny, watch out. His pals are coming. Wonderful. <laughs> It's all right, Penny. And here, don't worry. I'll save you from these fiends. All right, you bad guys. Take this. Oh, don't! Thanks, Granny Pearl. But I think I could have managed. Come on, sir. We better get you back to Possum Place. That's right. But y'all need now is a nice hot bowl of my chicken gumbo. Put him in the car, Robbie. Yes. Home. Now. Please. Home. Ben Possum, we need your help right away. Some crazy fiend is robbing the Possum City Museum. Get over there right away. Yeehaw! I'll drive her. Come on, boys. Cry never sleep. Oh, no. Better put on your seatbelt, sir. Star and Deputy Chief were involved in yet another altercation with the Wrong Riders. Rongo was about to shoot Percy out of a cannon and into a pool of piranha fish when suddenly an asteroid collided with the Earth and slammed into Tex, Chief, Percy, and the Wrong Riders. The asteroid continued clean through the Earth and shot back out into space with everyone clinging to it and continued on its way right toward the sun. Come on, Tin Star, do something. You're the hero. Quiet, I'm thinking. This looks pretty darn bad if you ask me, Tix. I didn't ask you, Chief, but you're right. We're headed right for the sun. We're gonna burn up in the sun. Come on, Tin Star, do something. Hi, Tex! Wow! We're out here in the bigness of space with the stars and the things with the planets and... Oil! We're gonna hit the sun! Hold on. I got an idea. Ooh, Tex! That sure was some quick good thinking with the smartness. We better move around or we'll get squished for sure. Clam, you bonehead. What happened to Tin Star? There he is. Him and that stinky deputy and that meddlesome rattlesnake. They're out cold. Quick, time up. I, I, uh... Hey, hey, what the... We're in turn. <laughs> so long, Tin Star. It's curtains for you this time for sure. I just invited the polite coyotes to a dinner party. And you and Rosebud here are the main course. Come on, boys. Well, if that just don't beat all. Polite coyotes. Well, if you're gonna be eaten alive, at least it'll be in style. Hey, it was awfully nice of that evil Rongo villainous person to invite us to dinner. It was indeed. It's not every day that I get invited anywhere by a nice evil villain person. I'm just noticing the desert appears awfully clean this evening, you know. Oh, it certainly does. It's a very clean desert indeed. Hey, I hear him. Oh, you look quite clean today. Well, do I? Thanks for noticing. Your grandfather was quite a clean chap as well. Which one? Oh, hey, look there. That must be the dinner party. This one looks a bit tough and thin, you know. Hey, you. This one here's gone off, haven't you, son? Is that an expiration date? Well, perhaps with the right vegetable we won't notice. Uh, I think we'll dine al fresco again, Schmedley. Very well, sir. Which one will serve me desiring to start with? Oh, 
with the dining? Oh, no, kids. It looks like dinner time for Tex, Chafe, and Floyd. How will they taste? What about the salad? Will Chafe make everyone come down with food poisoning? And what on earth could possibly be for dessert? There's one surefire way to find out, and that's by tuning in next week for the further deep-frying, food-eating, lip-stretching adventures of Tex Tinstar, the best in the West.